Where we are at the moment is um, our workshop in Lisbon and uh, this is where a lot of the making is going on and this morning we just had a rehearsal um, with one of our main images in the parade which is the 15 foot high 8 year old boy. The purpose of the 8 year old boy is basically um, seeing the wild hunt through his eyes. So basically the 8 year old boy in this story is um, a boy explorer and it's his dream. So the wild hunt is how he would see a wild hunt through his eyes. And his focus is basically chasing after a Kafka Chagall butterfly. And the reason that it's Kafka Chagall is, is that anything that's really beautiful always has an edge to it. And so in the attempting to catch the butterfly, he never catches her. And um, she's also quite wily and quite wise, and uh, she's very tantalizing. And uh, within that, he's like surrounded by minotaurs, he's surrounded by wolves, he's surrounded by music, and he's still focused on the freaking butterfly. Do you know what I mean? So the purpose behind that is basically that he's attaining something that he, he's, he's not going to get. And um, in that as well, he's got the imagination. Basically, the whole purpose behind him is as a child's eye view. And the ethos and the philosophy behind that is that imagination and poetry is so important and that I suppose I feel that we're in a national depression at the moment in the country and we have a, a, a leadership crisis and so rather than kind of take a very kind of uh, literal interpretation of that you take an abstract interpretation of that and you go well what's important what do we need what's the essence of our lives and what's the, what holds us together and basically imagination poetry and um, abstract thinking forward thinking risk taking they're all that we need in a cultural infrastructure and this is what that boy represents what's he going to look like on sunday he's going to have an aviator's hat on him and he's going to have kind of brown hair and he's going to have blue eyes and he's going to look like he's slightly sun-kissed because all explorers are and he's going to be in his wee um summer shorts and calico shirt with braces even though we live in ireland and um, no matter what i still think you've got to kind of get that sense of summer love and summer feeling out so when it's a grey day there's nothing better to look at than a wee boy in his Sunday best walking down the street giving it large so he's gonna really try and encompass that kind of ageless boy very much an explorer like I'd imagine that in his room he'd have like boats and rockets and aeroplanes that he's made himself and um, he would have like Rodal he would definitely have um, sketches by William Blake He'd have like goofy drawings that would be similar to Picasso's drawings in the sense of there's a freedom to how you work and a freedom to how you draw. Um, there would also be um, Mervyn Peake's Letters from a Lost Uncle, which is about an explorer. Um, yeah, I think that he'd probably have Tom Waits on vinyl, even though he's only eight, that his dad might have given him or something that he doesn't really want to listen to, but that as he gets over here, well, he's been basically 18 months in the making. He started off as a miniature rag and bone boy, and he was made out of sticks and found leather and little bits of hessian. Then he grew up to a middle-sized boy, um, which is out of fiberglass and foam, and now he's grown up into a 15 foot high um, eight-year-old boy, and he's made of rattan, willow, steel, calico, foam, and wood. So, and I don't know what we're gonna call him because he's a, he's a new poet and explorer, and um, as yet, if we get a name on Sunday, great. If not, he's, he's still boy explorer. Oh, I don't know, we'll have to see. Don't want to christen him, do you know what I mean? Because don't do christenings. So basically, he's just going to have to find his own name, and if he finds it, brillo pad. But if he doesn't, maybe the wild hunt is on the search for it.